Now, Diamond and Silk, I have to ask you this because this is a, you must have taken the bus here or driven here or something because the partial government shutdown has crippled the nation. People can't fly. People are barely eat. I mean, there are people who live in this area who are federal employees and they are on furlough, and that it's not good to not know where your next check is coming from. But you, by the, watching the media, you'd think our whole government, our whole country, is paralyzed. Uh, we flew and we were able to get in and out of the airport right. swiftly, and it was great. But what I want people to understand. And federal workers will be paid back pay. That's right. But that these happens illegal, every time this right? Happens. But these illegal aliens that have killed Americans will never get their lives back. That's so right. I want them to understand that you're going to get back pay, but we need to fund the wall. That's right. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, they need to go to the table and negotiate, do whatever they have to do, yep. or stop playing with our tax dollars. That's mm-hmm. our money. That's our That's money. Not they, money. They ain't coming out their pocket. Mm-hmm. It's coming out of taxpayers' pockets. We pay tax dollars. To that's right. The federal government, so fund the wall. And I say for Nancy, stop acting like a dictator. Mm. Why are you acting like a dictator right. towards this president? You may be the leader of the House, but you're not the leader of the United States of America. That's right. They have not come to the table, the Democrats, That's and right. given one inch on this. You you were on the campaign trail. You saw what the president mm-hmm. said. We're going to have a wall. It's going to be big. It's going to be beautiful. Yes. It's going to be across the entire border. Mm-hmm. And I think the first budget was $25 billion. What are we talking about now? Uh, it's not across the entire border. It's just in certain areas. Mm-hmm. It's steel slatted, mm-hmm. and he's asking for $5 billion. He's come quite a bit to meet them not here abs- on this. Absolutely, but they don't want to budge. And see, they're playing politics, and they're playing with the American people mm-hmm. lives. And that has got to stop. And so it's time for Americans to stand up and, and call uh, Ch- uh, P- Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Call them out on their stuff. That's right. Call them because out on their Because if a lot of these honey, people were so concerned about people not eating, not getting their checks... They would come to the table to negotiate, not plan trips overseas somewhere. That's right. That is really something. I mean, as beautiful as that whole story was. Yeah. And were you laughing out loud <laughs> the way we were laughing out loud Out yesterday? loud, F- inside. Funny. With yes. the president's letter. And they stuck on the bus and the <laughs> wheels on the bus were not going around oh, and around. Wait. But the but the beauty of that whole story is that the president pointed out the fact that they were leaving town. They for were a leaving. Week. They, they should have been. Right. They should have been here negotiating. The president invited them to a lunch. No one showed up for that. But right. yet you want to blame the president? No, this is your fault. Your Congress is your job to fund our government to get, fund governmental projects. That's right. That's a project that need to be funded for our national security. That's right. So fund it. How you gonna go out of town? Uh-huh. How, or, or the the mere fact that she don't want the state of you. Union address the, uh, the 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 state of the union. Yeah, she want to stop that. Capital, she don't yeah. want that to happen, mm-hmm. right? She want to stop that because of safety. But you're not concerned about the millions of Americans that stay in this country safety. That's uh, right. By securing our border, so it's just it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Our guests are Diamond and Silk. You saw them on YouTube. You see them all over social media. You see them on Fox Nation now, and their live show is this. Now, what's going to happen at, at, at Chit Chat Live February 23rd? Where is it? First of all, first of all, it's going to be held at the Trump. International Hotel oh, well, right here yes. in nice DC. Place it's right going to be there. very amazing. Listen, we don't take you to the whole little wall. Not baby. the whole little wall. It's going to be very, very, not very the nice. Roach Motel or the uh-huh, Red that's Team. Right. Uh-huh. No, no, <laughs> it's no, no, be no. Really nice. It's going to be fancy. But you're going to get a lot of diamond and silk because I think that it's important that we do what we call grassroots work that's and right. we talk to each other. A lot of people are really tired and they are exhausted from yes. the left wing media and the shenanigans from our Congress and the games that they play. So this is a way for us to. Congregate together. That's right. Uh-huh, and and anyone can come. Uh uh-huh, Anybody right? can come. And I don't even care what side of the aisle you're on. Go to chitchattour.com to get your tickets. Get your tickets. I don't care what side of the aisle you are. Come and let's have a good time. Now, That's that, right. that day is Saturday, February 23rd. Right? Uh-huh. I know this number because it's my, my brother's birthday, oh, too. Oh, And also, I'm appearing. The Montgomery County, Maryland, right here in, in, in D.C. area, is having the Republican Party convention mm. that day. And I'm speaking. I'm, I'm a keynote speaker there. Wow. But I'm going to be done at two o'clock all right and this event is at five thirty. Yes. yes can i come absolutely you know you are, you know sure? you are invited you like Conta- how contasia, come? contasia can come too she better come yeah right. that's right all right yes. so we'll be there yes. for chit chat live mm-hmm. diamond and silk will be there this is uh-huh. going to be a blast this, this is, is going to be it's going to be lit as the kids yes say. it's, it's going to be great no we don't say lit is that not all right <laughs> tasia's <laughs> waving me off lit apparently yeah, that's not yes. a thing uh what i have noticed uh, speaking of the wall and illegal immigration you have been very active on twitter 
posting a, a law, a statute about mm-hmm, aiding right. and abetting and, and how it relates to sanctuary city laws. I think this is brilliant. Can you please talk about this? Exactly. It is Title Eight, Code 1324. And what people are failing to realize is that we have what's called immigration laws in this country. And it is e- illegal to aid and abate illegal aliens. When you do that and you, you're known for doing that, then guess what? You're aiding and abating illegal a- aliens and you're breaking the law. Now here Here's the funny thing. Our tax dollars Mm -hmm. are used to fund sanctuary cities, which in terms aid and abate illegal aliens. So if you can use my tax dollars to 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 have me as an accessory to the crime of aiding and (laughs) abating illegal aliens, why can't you use my tax dollars Mm -hmm. to fund the wall Mm -hmm. to protect America? That's right. That's right. Can I just tell you something remarkable happened on this issue? Mm -hmm. Because Silk suddenly, I raised this and Diamond just sat back and Silk, all right, this is my moment. This is my story. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. and and let me tell you why we are so passionate about it, because we know it severely affects African Americans. Now, Mm -hmm. you know the president just signed the First Step Act into Law. That's so right. You know, people are going to be getting out of jail. These people need jobs. That's right. Not illegal aliens. When you cross that border mm-hmm. and you don't come in here the right way, you are committing a crime. That's, That's right. That's the criminality. You commit the crime. That's right. And that has got to stop. Yes. And people have to speak up for it. People That's got right. to understand what's going on up there in Congress. They got to realize that our tax dollars pay their salaries. I hope you're hearing the passion here that yes. only comes with Diamond and Silk. That's right. There's more to come with Diamond. That's right. There's more to come with Diamond and Silk. I know you're not going anywhere. It's the Larry O'Connor Show on WMAO. Live and local. You're listening to the Larry O'Connor Show. The Diamond and Silk's Chit Chat Live, uh, which you can actually attend live and be part of the audience Saturday, February 23rd, Trump International Hotel. Uh, check that out. I'll be there. Uh, uh, Tasia will be there. You should be there. Uh, how do people get tickets, by the way? Oh, chitchattour.com. I would love it when they do things like that. All right, so now let's talk about the new. I'm going to have Jordan Schachtel. He's with Conservative Review and Blaze TV coming up in a bit uh, to talk about this report about Michael Cohen. Now, it's amazing to me. You know, when Michael Cohen was the president's lawyer a year ago, running interference on the whole Stormy Daniels thing, the media hated him. He was terrible. He's an awful. You know, now, because he's got a story that hurts Trump, He's like, uh, you know, a savior. He's like a saint. What, what do we make of this? Well, what story? I make of it is that he uh, is a liar. So why do we? By definition. Absolutely. I mean, he's actually confessed uh-huh, to that, that in court. He admitted yeah. that he lied. So why would we believe a liar? Mm-hmm. He's trying to do things to save his own self. That's what we see. Yeah. That's you right. know? And people need to pay attention. This is merely a distraction. Mm-hmm. This is merely a distraction because they don't want us looking at Nancy and Chuck mm-hmm. about how they won't fund the wall and open up the government. It That's is right. amazing the timing on this story. When, oh, Nancy, yes. when they got a really bad day there with yesterday's narrative with the plane and all that stuff and they look real bad and then boom the story mm-hmm. Abs- and they do it all the time it's merely a distraction and we have to stop looking at distraction and start focusing on the goal That's the right. goal is we want our country better we want our borders secure we want Americans safe we want to thrive and prosperous in this country that's the goal focus on those things what do you with us we mentioned the state of the union before what do you think the president should do uh, he's going to deliver a state of the union should he as Mark Levin suggests uh, go to the Senate and deliver it there do you think he should go to the board Order. What, what do you want to see? I think I you should tweet it. I want to see him right there in the house. Rip them. So That's that right. we can look at Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all the, the reaction. That's right. How they really don't work for the American people. Yeah. How they ran around talking about, oh, yeah, we're going to go head on and we're going to get this thing with health care. We're going to get this problem solved. And now look at them. Mm-hmm. Look at what they She yeah. would prefer to go out of town on an excursion instead of get here and work for the American people. That's we right. have a problem with paying you and you don't work. My theory is if you don't, if you listen, if you you don't work, you don't eat. That's right. If you don't work, you fired. Mm-hmm. It's time for some of these people to be fired. Well, right. And I wish that the president would put it. In, can he write it in an executive order to take away their pay? Mm-hmm. I don't think they can do he that. They can't that. Why? Why can't they do because that? Because it's, I don't know, it's baked in the cake. With they, they did partially fund the government. It's three quarters of the way funded But it right needs to be fully funded, yeah. and that wall needs to be funded, too. That's uh, right. Uh, I love when you guys talk about stuff that's going on outside of Washington, D.C., your commentary on Hollywood and the music business. Uh-huh. Are you 
you watching this R. Kelly thing? <gasps> but is that not something else? Mm-hmm. Why does okay, this happen? Okay, so I want you to understand. I understand. Now, this, back in the day, mm-hmm. when he married Aaliyah, right? Mm-hmm. You had the black rappers. Every nobody said anything. And that and, she was what 14? 15, 15, I believe, fifteen, 15 years, years old. old. Okay, <clears throat> whenever there was the videotape. Mm-hmm. Everybody overlooked it. And what we tend to do, or people tend to do, is compartmentalize the R. Kelly from the Robert Sylvester Kelly, which mm-hmm. is the predator. That's you see right. what I'm talking about? This has uh-huh. going on for you. But let me just say this here, we too. We love R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. Okay, uh-huh. but, but then, then this Robert let's, Sylvester let's say, Kelly, oh, we don't say, like this. Let's say alleged predator. predator. Let's say alleged predator. Let's say alleged. Everything is alleged here. Right, right. But, but what I want you to understand, <laughs> he's not the only one. That's he's right. not the only one that have messed with young girls at a young age and you a grown man mm-hmm. and if you want to go back I, I well i'm not gonna say because people gonna get mad if i say something about Pr- priscilla presley right oh i know uh-huh. all this okay and 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 uh, who was great balls of fire there the guy uh Jerry Lee Lewis, uh-huh. right? Exactly. And not only that, these rappers. If you point the finger at R. Kelly, oh, you gonna have to point the fingers at a lot more, uh, a lot more that well. sit up here and they mess with these young girls and That's they right. prostitute them out yes. and they call themselves rappers. And if you cared about uh-huh. females, yes. why do you allow these rappers to call them bees and all kinds of names bees in your rap songs? You definitely. objectify them and then they turn out, they go and make themselves into objects, getting a fake breast, a fake booties, and all this. <laughs> You uh-huh. see what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I see it vividly. I yeah, do. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> but now, I think that they need to leave this music alone. Yeah. Oh, you think? Yes, there's nothing wrong with a little bump and grinding and all of that other different stuff. Happy that people. Doing, happy people. And, and I mean, his, that's his music. Because he here's sings. the deal. Yes. If, you, if the Me Too movement, you want us to mute R. Kelly, uh-huh. but you never told us to mute Harvey Weinstein movie. There you go. But you want us to mute. Uh, R. Kelly's music. Think mm-hmm. about that. There Wait a go. minute. Mm-hmm. Why don't you tell us if you uh, are uh, uh, wine scene movies? Uh-huh. All right. So Silk and I are going to be doing a little uh, bumping and grinding during the break here. <laughs> since she is that, that clearly that fully number. in favor of that, or my wife it for that my matter. Birthday, this is why you... Sh- oh, happy birthday! Yeah, All right, hold on. We'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> and this is why you'll want to watch the Facebook Live of this interview so you can catch everything that happens behind the scenes. <laughs> it's 454 on WMAO. This is the Larry O'Connor Show. Only got a minute left here with Diamond and Silk before the big 5 o'clock hour. I got to ask you, what do you make of this Gillette ad uh, and how basically men are... Masculinity is toxic across the board. You know, all men are guilty. Well, first of all, Gillette should stay out of politics. That's right. And it's offensive. Mm -hmm. And you are are offending men. You making it look like every man is, ooh, they're dangerous. Right. But wait a minute, I have a father that Mm -hmm. has never abused my mother, has never abused us in any any kind of way so all men are not that way so i think that they should stay out of politics i don't or whatever they were trying to do yeah. i don't know what they were trying and to do and i think the me me too move if they keep on they're not gonna have any men stop emasculating our men That's we right. want muscles we love muscles because we need somebody to carry our bags when we go on the air the That's greatest right. beneficiary yes. of masculine men are women. They are the ones who benefit the most of having masculine Absolutely. men in our society. Definitely. I love our men, and, 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 and kill the spider That's if I right. can't get that <laughs> Diamond That's and right. Silk. Check them out all across social media, and more importantly, Diamond and Silk Chit Chat Live, Saturday, the 23rd of February, at the Trump. We'll be there. You'll